Section 8 Investors. I'm going to show you how you can make four times more money with short-term rentals than with Section 8. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show. I am James Wise. Today, I'm working with my man, Andres. Brother, what's up? You are an investor from New York, and of course, you've been working with Holton Wise to build some rental properties in your portfolio, right? That's what I do, man. I help you achieve your real estate goals. My team, not only do we talk to talk, but we walk to walk, right? I've sold over $200 million worth of investment real estate, and I run the largest scattered site portfolio in my market. I help people like you and people from all over the world invest in real estate. Then my team, we do the dirty work. Property management, maintenance, construction, insurance, the whole shebang, right? And here's the thing with you, Andrews, man. We're going to do something a little different, right? Check this out, bro. I've been really thinking about this. You sent me your info and what you wanted to do uh, late last week, and I was thinking about this all over the weekend, what I wanted to do with you here, right? And I wanted to kind of shift gears a little bit, right? Shift gears from the Section 8 stuff to the short-term rental stuff, even though you didn't ask me to. Here's the reason, man. I, and we got a lot of leeway here. We could do a lot of different stuff. But I really – I'm trying to read between the lines with what you're sending me, bro, because me and you, we worked together in the past, right? We ran through that three-pack with you, and uh, we, we analyzed some good deals. But, you know, this competition's high, so we didn't do a deal, right? And now you came back. You got me doing 10 personalized videos for you. And – what? You're telling me, right? And you've been consistent with this the whole time I've been working with you, bro. You're like, hey, man, I really want nice neighborhoods, and I want to make a 10% ROI. 10% ROI. Well, number one, fuck that. I'm going to quadruple that today, bro. Just stick with me. I'm going to quadruple that 10%. You come to me asking for 10%. I think I could do better, and I could reduce your risk, right? Because here's the thing. You're like, you're telling me how you like these low-risk neighborhoods, Right. And then you're telling me how much you hate high risk neighborhoods. You did some low income deals in Indy and it didn't work out for you. You're dealing with the rough stuff uh, and you didn't like those deals. You ended up selling those deals. You want me to give you something a little bit nicer in Cleveland, but still stick to the low income stuff. And you you asked me to walk you through the Section 8 thing. Right. Because I am a Section 8 expert. I made a lot of money with Section 8. And dude, that's something we do like all day, every day. Like we handle that. But. Bro, I almost feel like you're trying to stick a round peg in a square hole, man. I, I feel like you got this thing in the back of your head where you're like, ah, oh, dude, I really don't like low-income rentals. I tried it. It didn't work out. It's not my cup of tea. But Holton Wise, they're crushing it with uh, low-income rentals. Let me just try it again. Maybe it'll work out differently. Right. I, I hear you. But dude, there is like a lot of ways to make money in real estate, bro. I make money in real estate in various ways. Yes. Low income. That's my bread, dude. That's where my butter is breaded. That's that's where my bread is buttered. That's where my bread is buttered, baby. That's what I do. But I've done a lot of other different types of stuff. And I know when I started working with you back then, uh, we weren't even in uh the short-term rental space right but we are now so we have a wider array of products we can present to you right so what i want to do with you and if you don't like this idea bro i'll spend your next several videos going over to section eight with you like you asked me but dude i just from working with you man i just get the feel that like you're just forcing yourself into something you're not comfortable with. And I don't know why we need to do that when I could just shift you some other, some other way and I can get you something you're more comfortable with that, in my opinion, will make more money, right? What I can do for you, dude, I'm going to go over a short-term rental in an A-grade neighborhood. A-grade neighborhood, right? Because you are very uncomfortable with the higher-risk neighborhoods, which is understandable. I get it, right? So instead of trying to force yourself on that, let me walk you through what I think we could do on a much lower risk investment property that I think you, my friend, are going to have a lot less heartburn thinking about it. We'll get into the details right after this. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? 
Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh my, Steve. Take me now. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back. Let's get into the meat, man. The meat and potatoes, dude. The meat and potatoes, what I really want to do. First thing is first, 5807 Bridge, Cleveland 4 for 102. It's recently been reduced again, right? Started off very high. Recently, they're at 315. Now they're at 299. I'm going to push that even harder for you. I want to try to pick this up at 290. $25,000 less than the price was a week ago, okay? 290 is what I think I can do for you, right? This is a high-end property in the heart of it all, okay? Like, I know there's a lot of out-of-town investors that watch Holton Wise TV, okay? A lot of you guys out there, right? This is like the A-grade neighborhoods where you hear about the resurgence of Cleveland, okay? Right? Ohio City, Detroit Shoreway, Edgewater a little bit, downtown, right? Where the big stuff is happening, right? Indians or the Guardians, Cavs, Browns, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, right? All that stuff, right? That's all, that's all the big ticket stuff, right? And this property, right? I think this would be great as an Airbnb property because it's right there, right? So, like, when people are coming to Cleveland for a couple days, right? A lot of you out-of-state investors, right? You guys want to come into Cleveland, right? You want to come into Cleveland to tour all the neighborhoods, right? Well, you don't want to stay in, like, a Section 8 neighborhood, right? This is the kind of neighborhood you would stay, right? So, like, this Airbnb property can probably be something that a lot of out-of-state investors are staying at, right? Right in the heart of it, right in the heart of Gordon Square, okay? And it's super nice. It's super modern, dude. This is almost brand new, right? This is another thing, right? You get in the Cleveland market, you're dealing with 100-year-old properties. They're really starting to crack down on lead-based paint issues. This bad boy, when was this built? Let me find it. This was built in 2005, right? So no lead-based paint issues, right? This was built 16 years ago, right? You come to the Cleveland market, a lot of you guys, what you're dealing with is properties built in like 1905, right? So very, very new property, okay? So, super low risk area, all the new development, all the gentrification, right? It's a townhome, but there is no HOA to worry about. So, we got nobody coming in telling us, like, do, 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 hey, man, you can't do short term rentals. No, this is good. And look at this thing. It's mint, dude. Look at this. You got the loft look, you got all these windows. This is perfect. This is what people want when they come stay in the Cleveland area for a few days, right? It's perfect, fully equipped. We don't got to touch it. There's no reno here, right? So that's going to increase your cash on cash return. We're going to keep that cash on cash return high because most of the money for this investment is coming from the bank. Look at this super nice loft area, okay? This is cool. You're looking down there. You got the industrial looking fans. This area, right? This property, it's a two bed, three bath. But look, dude, check this out, right? This little loft area for our purposes, like, it's like another bedroom, dude. We're going to probably slap two beds, maybe four if we do bunk beds, right? Because we want to sleep as many guests as we can, right? So for a long-term rental, no, it's not a legal bedroom. For a short-term rental, absolutely. We're slapping beds over here, dude. This is this is what it is, right? The more guests we could sleep with our listing, the more money we make, right? But this this is mint, right? We don't have to touch this, okay? Don't have to do nothing here. Just, you know, furnish it, right? Furnish it, put TVs, but it's legit. The guests got a nice garage right here when they come in, right? Just park their car in the garage, bada bing, bada boom. Man, they're off, they're running, they're hitting the town, okay? Super low risk, right? So, all that's cool, it looks cool, it's nice, the neighborhood's nice, but if it doesn't make us money, who cares, right? I hear you. Let's talk. Now, it's two bed, three bath, but again, we got that loft space too, so we're going to put some more beds in there. We're going to sleep a ton of people, folks, right? So, because of that, if we were able to rent it out every night at the estimated price point, which is 400 pretty conservative estimate, we would be pulling in 12400 a month, okay, or 148 k a year. But, dude, you're crazy if you're thinking you're renting your short-term rental every day of the year, right? It's not happening, okay? So I have your performance estimates here, your fixed and variable expense estimates, right? Cuyahoga County, we're running a 38% vacancy on short-term rentals, okay? 62% occupancy, right? 
So after you factor in all that, the cleaning fees, the property management fees, because my team, Holton Wise, we do it all. We will be the super hosts on all the sites. And it's not just Airbnb, dude. It's VRBO. It's travel. There's a whole bunch of them. We're there hammering it out for you, okay? After everything is all said and done, I believe we should clear, on average, forty three fifty nine eleven a month for you after everything's all said and done. Now, warm weather months will be better. Cold weather months will have higher vacancy. That's just the nature of the beast, okay? That's just how it works. But with everything, on an average year, I anticipate you pulling in a little bit over 50, right? Now, the total investment, I want to get this for you for $290. they are asking $299. I believe I can get it for you for $290. We don't have to do any rehab. It's a brand new property, right? 15, 16 years old. That's freaking as new as it gets in Cleveland, right? The only thing we got to spend up front is about 25 Gs to furnish it, dude. Flat screens, internet, Wi-Fi, couches, beds, more beds, more beds, more beds, more beds, more beds. The more beds, the more butts, the more butts, the more money, the more money, the happier you are, the happier I am. It's all about money. That's what you're here for. If you're not interested in making money, I don't know why you're this far into the video. That would be crazy, right? This is a money show, okay? So, 315 all in. But here's the kicker. Here's the great part. This is real estate. The bank's kicking in almost all of it, 217 and a half, dude. Let's have the bank kick in 217 and a half. All you got to do is cover the down payment, which is 72 and a half. Then after the fact, drop 25 Gs to furnish it, deck this bad boy out. Give our guests a five-star experience. Premium property, premium location, premium price, premium price, premium ROI. ROI equals money. Again, that's why you're here, right? Which should, all told, Net out to be around a 42% return on your money because, again, the bank is bringing three pieces of the four-piece pie to the project, right? So this, this right here, this is a great alternative to people that are used to just dealing with low-income stuff, Section 8 investments, right? You can do those, but you might as well, you know, take your portfolio, okay, and diversify it a little bit. Get a high-end property such as this, okay? deal with lower risks and overall a much higher return. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education and entertainment.